Okay, this is chapter 10, section two. For this video, I printed out a copy of the homework and I'm just gonna go through and work a few problems just to kinda um, help you um, get started. I think that if you have a graphing calculator, you're gonna be able to do a lot of these on the graphing calculator, so I'm not gonna address those. The first one says match the following quadratic function with its graph. I'm pretty sure if you put that in your graphing calculator, you're gonna be able to choose which one it matches. Um, pay attention to the scale and pay attention to the position of the vertex. Um, they are going to use those here. Then it says identify the vertex of the parabola in number two. And um, they're wanting you to remember that you have vertex. One way to find the parabola is to use the formula negative b over 2a and then f of negative b over 2a and we know that this is A, B is zero, and C is zero in this particular problem. So when we have negative B, that'd be negative zero, which is just zero, over two times negative eight. Well, what that's gonna give me is just zero for my X coordinate. When I plug that in, that's what F of negative B over two A tells me to do, is to plug that zero in to the function I get zero there too. So the vertex of this parabola is zero, zero. Identify the vertex of the graph of this quadratic equation. I would use that same method. Identify the vertex. Now on this one, you're not gonna be able to use that method because it's not factored out. So I want you to refer to your notes. Here's where your notes say, if I can get all that in here, right here. I printed these from lecture notes. So if you haven't been utilizing those, they're in there and they will help you. If it's a little difficult for you to see on here, here's what it says. It says f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And that h comma k is the vertex. Okay, so let's apply that here. Well, in the place of h, I see a, a positive five. The formula has a negative sign. So for me to get a positive five here, h must have been negative five. K is located at the end. There's nothing added to the end. So k must have been zero. So this vertex is negative five, zero. They ask again for the vertex, I would use that same formula. They ask again for the vertex, I would use that same. Number seven, ask us to describe this graph. It says for this quadratic function, tell whether it opens up or down and whether the graph is wider, narrower, or the same as the parent function, f of x equals x squared. Well, a is the number in front of x squared. If A is greater than zero, if A is positive, then your graph is going to open up. If A is less than zero, it opens down. Okay, this one's gonna look like this. This one's gonna look like this found those, that information's found right there. So this one's negative, it opens down. Now is it wider or narrower? Well, the parent function would be x squared. If you have a a value, a coefficient that is less than one, and that one is less than one, if its absolute value is less than one, we're gonna disregard its sign, just talk about its absolute value, then it's going to be wider. If the number in front of x squared, if x squared's coefficient is greater than one, then it's going to be narrower. Same thing on number eight. When I said the same thing on number eight, I meant apply the same concept. It doesn't necessarily have the same answer. Nine and 10 ask you to sketch the graph. If you'll put that in your calculator and then you'll use the graphing tool, you may have to play with that graphing tool just a little bit, but they're gonna ask you for a vertex and then they're gonna ask you for one other point and then it's gonna draw the rest of that right in there for you. Sketch the graph, sketch the graph. 
graph the equation, sketch the graph, graph. All you graphing calculator is going to do most of this for you. Tell whether a linear, a quadratic would be more appropriate model for this. If linear, tell whether the slope should be positive or negative. If quadratic, tell whether the coefficient x squared should be positive or, ne or negative. So you're going to choose the, um, look at, by looking at the shape of the graph, which one does it look like? Well, it looks more quadratic. And should the coefficient of x squared be positive or negative? Well, it opens down, which means that it is negative. The next one, well it looks more linear and it looks like it has a negative slope because the line goes down. Well, chapter 10, section 2 was pretty quick and easy. I'm going to leave that for you and hope that you have a great day.